So you've just booked your dream holiday, but you can't get excited about it because you've just realized it means taking one of the scariest things you can ever take onto a plane, a child. We've taken both our kids on long haul flights for 11 hours since they were three months old and we've learned a few things in that time. Here are our top tips for flying with infants, babies, toddlers, creatures, whatever you want to call them. It begins as soon as you book your flight. Call your airline straight away and book a bassinet or an in-flight cot as they only have a few of them per flight. While you're on the phone to them, check you've booked your kids meals properly as they aren't always added automatically. Their food will come out around 15 minutes before the rest of the plane and it means they might have finished with the tray by the time your food arrives. Make sure you download their favorite TV shows and cartoons before you go. Peppa Pig and Paw Patrol have saved you countless times before and this time is no different. You wouldn't want to get on to an 11 hour flight just to realize there's no Peppa Pig. Also get them to practice wearing their headphones before you travel. Let them get the nibbling and quality control testing out of the way so they're using them the right way on the plane. We recommend using wireless headphones these days too so you don't become the one caught in the cord. We'll put our favorite choices in the description below. Make the most of your baggage allowance. Most airlines actually let you check your car seats for free, which can save you loads when you're renting a car. Also, every family member gets to check one item. So if you've got a toddler and you'd like to put them in a travel cot or a pack and play, why not spread their clothes amongst the other suitcases, ditch their suitcase, and you can take the pack and play for free. I was never gonna get to wear these anyway, I guess. So here's a great tip if you've got newborns. You've got one of those fancy buggies that have car seat and bassinet adapters. Oftentimes on flights, car seats and buggies all go for free. So if you check your car seat and bring your bassinet as part of the main bit of your buggy, you then get car seat, baby's bed on holiday, as well as buggy, all for free, and ditch that clunky travel cot or pack and play. Pack those snacks. Food is a great way to keep a bored child happy and more importantly, quiet. It means you're not at the liberty of the in-flight food service and all of their timings or any turbulence that might also slow them down. When you arrive at the airport, make friends with the check-in staff. They have the power to leave a seat between you and your partner. This can allow you to have your own tray and not have a farting toddler on your lap for 11 hours. But more importantly, an economy class bed. This is a gamble, so if you definitely want the seat, you should pay for it. Make besties with the cabin crew. They know that a happy baby equals a happy plane. Don't treat them like you're a slave. Be courteous and friendly, and they might help you to entertain your little ones. Our kids became trainee cabin crew on our most recent flight. Dylan even got to pretend to fly the plane. Get a shift pattern sorted so you both get a chance to eat, relax and sleep. Who knows, the kids might fall asleep on your watch, which means you get to finish the film you started just after takeoff. Get walking. Little legs need to be stretched just as much as yours on a long haul flight and keeping them cooped up will only increase the chance of a tantrum. Feed those newborns. That natural sucking from breast or bottle will help pop their ears on takeoff and landing. No discomfort means no crying baby. Everyone's a winner. Try not to worry about what other people are thinking most of those on the plane probably have kids, even that businessman who's avoided eye contact the whole flight. They might even find your kid's dance party funny. Might. Remember that no flight is the same, so if they were devil children on the way out, they might be angels on the way home, so start each leg afresh. Finally, 
The big golden rule is that there isn't one. Flying with children is tough. <laughs> Hopefully some of these tips will help, but a lot of it is determination and patience. Keep thinking about why you're travelling halfway across the world. Think about the family you're going to see or the amazing holiday you're about to have. In the big scheme of things, it's just a few hours of pain for a lifetime of memories. Read our full set of tips on lifeofriley.tv. And if you've got any tips of your own, add them in the comments below. Otherwise, like and subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Bye.